I agree with you. Do you get where it's coming from? Because this, that's the game where if they you, actually played a lot if better. If you watch uh, United's last three home games, yes. you, you'll be inclined to agree with Moriho to a beat. You know, okay. starting with the game against Stoke, where they totally dominated and the Stoke goalkeeper was having a blind at that okay. day. And United managed to get a goal only for a very rare day here mistake very to happen. Rare. And Stoke got an equaliser. The, the next game against Burnley, come on. <laughs> I can't remember how many shots United had. You know, I, I, how many attempts on, on goal and everything and he, 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 they, they couldn't get a goal he, he, they couldn't get a goal it was it yeah. was go, it was goalless and arsenal now a game they totally dominated a game they should have put to bed uh, earlier earlier on and uh, it didn't happen for them trust olivier Giroud. this not this, this is not the first time he's scoring a diamond minute goal against my united i remember uh, last time was the time they were beating 2-1 he, he came on as a substitute and got a fantastic volley and scored so it's look, not looking good for united right now but the the, the positive right, is that it seems that pogba is getting into the game yeah. and uh he seems to have found uh an answer for the midfield triangle of Carrick, herrera works, right? and pogba so he makes pogba uh able to express himself as much as he wants to because you have a cool head of the cool head of Carrick sitting behind and uh the of, um, yeah. okay. You know, we just so, take a look at tweets coming from some of the players <laughs> after that game. Okay, now, okay, Victor Moses, I mean, I mean, he, man of the match for Chelsea game, you know, a buzzing with the win today, and of course it came, but the lads were brilliant and imported three points for us. That was the game they played against Southampton, away from home now. For the record, Chelsea is actually topping the English Premier League right now, followed by Liverpool, who ended up drawing the game goalless. They just couldn't uh, score. Now, let's go to United players now. Frustrating one for one. Matt got the goal for them. It says a very frustrating outcome, but we remain positive after the way we played. Atmosphere at Old Trafford, incredible once again. Uh, clapping for all of them at Man United. He was substituted in that game, and he wasn't really happy working at and after the yeah, game he, he was shaking his head he was shaking his head because they considered <laughs> that very late goal i don't think it was unhappy okay, michael like carrick says so frustrating the field we deserved more from today can be too down after the way we played mm. yeah so pick up and yes, move on they can't afford to leave, lick your wounds <laughs> for, for united it, feel, it feels like two points lost whilst that yes. it felt like a point gain so yes. you can understand the frustration of united players and everything but hey there's a game on thursday in the mm. europa league coming up at home against final and after that they have to play west Ham. so i think they can't uh, dwell on that for too long okay now this one coming from uh Kelechi here at show, you know uh, the game matches to city yaya to making his well, I like his debut this season. I mean, we're starting a full game. And, of course, Kalechi and Nacho have to go to Instagram to actually congratulate him. He's back. He gave them the two goals to ensure that they got that three points they needed. Yaya, Yaya had to apologize. And what happened? He has started playing. Can he keep it on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a fantastic player. If he's in the right frame of mind, if he's if everything is working for him on the pitch and off the pitch, you can get the best from Yaya. Uh, it's a good, it's a it's a big thing for him. You know, he was the bigger man. He was able to apologize. I don't know if Dimitri Selik, his agent, uh, has apologized because that was what the that was the apology uh, that man Gajula oh, wanted. And I don't think uh, Dimitri Selik was going to apologize. So yeah, so he had to do it on behalf of his agent and himself. Yeah. And he's gotten back into the team, yes. getting two goals to help Man City get a very much needed win. So, but yeah. But the question is, uh, do you think this is a, um, is it, is it going to be a permanent uh, situation for you? <laughs> because you would think uh, the likes of um, Ike Gondawan uh, will still be ahead of him and pecking order. You no, know, look at look, look at that Manchester City team and um, look looking at what Yaturi yeah, can bring to that team. I don't think. Look, the, if, if I look at the whole Manchester City midfield, talking about uh, the Fernandios, the Fernandos, even the uh, Ike, Ike, Ike Gondawan, yeah. I don't see anybody that would actually just put Yaya Toure on the bench, bench okay. in, in terms of ability and everything. So I, I don't think it's a temporary thing. I think okay. Yaya Toure will Grounds get, we'll get see. We'll see okay, now, Let's look at eventually. another player also. I mean, I had a tweet uh, talking about Olivier Giroud. He came on and gets to score for us now. But he had to take the tweet and say, OK, it was a good comeback, great character. Now, with the way Arsenal played that game, the, is it that when they get to Old Trafford, they get to prison? Good comeback and strong character for the team yesterday. Another amazing support from our crowd. Come on, you Gunners, keep the faith. It's like when they get to Old Trafford, they didn't freeze up because the Arsenal we've seen this season, I mean, they've been fantastic. But the game against Manchester United was like 
it wasn't the same as now. Was it the international break? <laughs> whether whether so whether whether, whether likes to admit it or not, yeah. there's something about Mourinho. It's about Joseph. And there's something if, if, aside <laughs> that there was something about, at Old Trafford. He hasn't won there since 2006. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then for Mourinho, he, this is a coach that he hasn't beaten competitively. You know, so a lot of things will go through his head, and uh, he and, would want to be reflect on the be, players. Need to be defensive, and because if you, I, I see no reason, I, I saw no reason rather why. Alex Wobi wasn't starting in that game, a game that actually that I was crying for an Alex Wobi oh, well. because Arsenal had nothing to offer going forward. Or they had no shot on target until <laughs> that goal. That was you know? shot so on it just yeah. shows you that they were really very defensive playing El Nenny. I, I can't remember last time El Nenny started a big game. You know, playing El Nenny and, and he was Tuchel the real you know, so, from what he did. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. The, uh, whether Asvenga likes to admit it or not, he there's always that That's sort of uh, mental thing when he uh, yeah, when it comes against uh, definitely because you the same thing happens to Mariho against Guardiola we could see when United started the season winning 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 and when they got to play Man City at home Mario all of a sudden changed his formation brought in players that hadn't played because <laughs> yeah. of it was it was the same thing he had there was a mental issue about Guardiola okay it's Guardiola I have to do something special I have to yeah. do something you know he just didn't want to rely on the way he he was playing earlier that got him results so the same thing uh, fair, uh, to be fair to Jose, though, I mean, his record against Dan Guardiola is not as bad as his record. <laughs> it's not as bad, but his record against them after Benga. Yeah, it's yeah. not as bad, but he has a losing record I get, against them. I get your point. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you got it right. Now, we're, we're talking about a team that's actually at the top of the German Bundesliga, Leipzig. Mm. Um, Leipzig, yeah. Leipzig. I mean, that's the team everyone really wants to look at for because, from one indication, a Bayern are not careful because. They're not losing at all. They haven't lost a game this season. Just three draws they've had. We'll talk about that after this break. And also the NBA. We're talking about Leipzig and how they were able to get it at the top. And Bayern Munich, well, okay, losing to Borussia Dortmund means that they will be at the second. One word from you before looking at the NBA. Oh, the papers are also there too. You know, <laughs> concerning this particular team, what, what's what's with them? Well, uh, we, we have another. Just Lester? watching. Uh, maybe okay, what, another what, what, Leicester, but uh, unfortunately, um, 2016 will end 
in a couple in, in just next month so we don't know if this surprising uh, all the, 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 the fairy tales that happened what, what in, in 2016 i don't come on you know what happened in 2016 the cops the cops won the cops won the world series leicester won the league you know a lot a lot of things happened in football as well you know the Cavs won the nba title so i don't think it will happen in 2017 so maybe they will win the uh the winter league they will be they will end they will end as winter champions club that was just formed just okay. a few years ago and we'll yeah. look at the papers now i mean complete sports we're starting with this one moses voted uh, man of the match that's the game they played against Saddam playing away from home and uh, you have a city plus 200 million pounds move for messi maury tops Djokovic, of course know that falcons with mali six not and wenger explains it will be a snob ronaldo i have done everything to win ballon d'Or. i know you're crazy after trophy <laughs> Which I guess you're talking from here. Ronaldo should win the Ballon d'Or. Come on, he's, he won the he won the Nations Cup this year. He won the Champions League. He's now in the Atletico in the Madrid. Yeah, he's, he's got a hat trick yesterday. Really, so. Aside that, look at everything he's won. You know, the, the, he was one of the biggest club um, cups in Europe this year. The Europa, Europa Champions League and the European Cup. So. As you know, I don't think uh, there's any other argument uh, for him not to win that. Okay, uh, Sporting is. Sun is having a follow-up to what uh, Complete Sport has. Uh, City tempts Messi with a £200 million pounds deal. If opponents crush out the World Cup, Ronaldo at the Ballon d'Or, of course, as is at 4 And Costa sent Chelsea to the top. Almost the same. And £200 oh. million pounds for Messi right now. You know, Messi... Messi, if, there, if, if, there's a, if there's an arc, Messi has gotten to the top. He's, he's coming down gradually right yeah. now. So I don't think uh, making, uh, to get him for 200 million, maybe wait, wait another year or two and you get him uh, for. Uh, that cheap. No, okay, you think it's. You get him lesser. Okay, get him lesser. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's in life? life now? Next week, uh, uh, the, for review, uh, Operation Kill the Lions. Uh, 2019 <laughs> African qualifiers to strengthen Eagles. Um, Coach Gennot Roll to use new players. Egypt friendly in Dubai, testing ground uh, for team. Uh, there's still something here on Costa's all to Chelsea 1 0 over Middlesbrough. Uh, Diego Costa's goal lifts Blues to the top of the table. That's 10 goals for the season now uh, for uh, Diego Costa. I mean, well, what, what has changed uh, from last year uh, to this year? Obviously, you can see it looks a lot leaner uh, than what we saw last year, where it was carrying a lot of um, timber. I, I remember last year he also had some bit of, he had a bit of injury and everything. Okay. So right now he's playing well. He has no injury concerns. You can see, look at the goal. He actually stuck his foot in uh, where some players would have just, you know, let it go. Uh, let it go. But he actually safe. stuck his foot in and got that goal. So it shows you he's playing with confidence, yeah. his feet, and he wants to get the goals. Okay. Uh, still on spot in life, um, Inter Milan to offer Diego Simeone 15 million euros. You think it's time uh, for Diego Simeone to leave Atletico Madrid or... Oh, where, where does it go next? He's done a fantastic job at Atletico Madrid as the coach, uh, gets into the Champions League final twice, winning yeah. the league, uh, you know, uh, sort of breaking the duopoly of uh, Madrid and Barca. So yes. um, if he thinks it's time for him to go to Inter Milan, maybe good for him. But the thing is, Inter Milan, since Jose Mourinho left, I think they've changed coaches like over over seven times. Yes, since Mourinho can. left, uh, they just had uh, uh, Frank de Boer this season, at the start of the season, yeah, and it, I lasted for just 84 days. Now they have the Lazio coach, and you're still talking about Diego Simeone, if not, the guy hasn't even started walking here. I think this is his first game or so in charge. I'm talking about Simeone. Come on. Inter Milan needs to get their acts together. They're beginning to look like the Inter before Jose Mourinho came in and mm. made them a winning team yeah. where they would always just falter some way, somehow. And uh, maybe uh, if they get Diego Simeone in the long run as a permanent okay. uh, mm. a coach, a permanent position, it might just help them turn back. Okay. Uh, uh, watch watch myself. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for coming on the program. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tayo Salah.